Okay, when I'm preparing for a camping trip, I have this wonderful, uh, well, it's full of camping gear. So what I'm about to do is uh, take everything I need from that rack and um, put it on my scooter for the beginning of my first scooter trip. So I'll pick out my tent, my sleeping bag. I've got various tents and various sleeping bags. It's all for different times of year and stuff like that. So I'll pick the most appropriate stuff, which should be pretty much cold weather gear today. Um, all right, let's get this scooter packed. Well, she's all packed up and ready to go. Bit of spare fuel in the front basket there, along with some food supplies. Uh, attached a little bum bag here just for knickknacks. Uh, there's a guitar, pool cue and fishing rod on top. And everything I could possibly need to survive for a week or two in there. So uh, that includes tents and bedding and cooking and everything you can think of. It's all there. All right, let's hit the road. A new beginning, a new adventure. Okay, about 60 k's into my journey. I've just been for a white knuckle ride down the freeway. And it's not that it was scary, it's more that it was freezing and my fingers went numb. So, I chose to stop off at this McDonald's and uh, warm my hands up, have something to eat. And now I have to get back on the road again. So it's back on the freeway we go. See you soon. I've arrived at my destination for the night next to this beautiful lake, Lake Bolak. And uh, I've just been unpacking a few things from in there. Still got a couple of things to take off the bike, such as a guitar. And uh, here's my digs for the night. Let's have a look. Oh. So I've got this beautiful feather down. Uh, sleeping bag and an old school sleeping bag as well so I'm not going to be cold tonight little lamp hanging up there at the top of the tent and in the morning when I open that door I'm going to see a beautiful view of Lake Bolak put my little radio down here just to uh, keep me company through the evening ah it's going to be a lovely night I'm going to cook up some dinner soon and I've got to say uh, the scooter did really well. Obviously, I can't film anything while I'm on it. It'd be too dangerous at this stage. Maybe I can rig up a, something on the front where the camera can actually... Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, um, there's a big difference between travelling on this thing and an e-bike, as you can imagine. It does get me places quickly, though. It covers me a lot of distance. And actually, I did about 150 kilometres today on uh, less than $9 worth of fuel. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Ah, beautiful. Well, let's hope she gets going. Not a lot of kindling to make that big log burn, but I'm giving it the best chance it can have. I'm in my tent, have a listen to the waves lapping up on the lake. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Well, it's morning. It was a cold night, but I uh, remained pretty toasty warm in my tent. It was great. 
Let me show you the outside view of what I'm looking at here. Oh yeah. It's going to be quite a cool day. I imagine it's going to be quite cold on my hands riding on the scooter today. Whew. But that's all right. It's worth it to wake up to places like this. I'm in Dunkeld on the bike. There's uh, the mountains behind me. It's a beautiful town. Now, I haven't told you the reason for this journey yet, so I better let you know. What I'm doing is I'm on my way to a 70th birthday party. Yes. Mr. Borden, he's Bordeaux's dad, so uh, looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to catching up with Bordeaux too, so I know I've done this trip a couple of times on my e-bike already, so it feels like I'm covering old ground, but I do have plans to, um, to go further afield in the not too distant future, anyway. I hope you're enjoying this adventure and um, please feel free to like and subscribe. Follow me on my scooter journey. All right. Catch up with you soon. original name is the Green Hills Hotel. Beautiful little pub. Yeah, so Bordo's picking up his uncle Don. And we'll have a couple of days together. Celebrate his father's birthday in style. It really is a beautiful little pub. Could I make it a reality? 
Four hours done. <laughs> Come here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really good, mate. Yourself? <laughs> well, I've, I've sobered up. <laughs> Feeling good, man. Feeling good. What would you like to do, Jack? Oh, I'm just finishing up a beer, so yeah, probably another one. Have you seen it? Hey. By the way, I've become a full-on Viking, mate. Have you really? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a lone wolf, mate. Lone wolf, mate, yeah, travelling in this world alone. <laughs> All right, let's get a drink. If people stood. Please don't break down